Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, honestly, I was going to hold off for a couple weeks before I did my coffee time video with Flinger, but a lot of people have been asking me about a lot of different things, and I figured, you know what? I'll just shotgun blast them right now and just get everybody uh, the answers as quick as possible because there's a lot of people that are really interested in doing stuff like that. So, uh, first things first, uh, graphic um, settings and graphic performance. One of the things I've been working on, um, I've been really trying to fine-tune things, and one thing I really noticed, and it's not even a setting that you can do in-game, it's a setting that you can do in Windows. If you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, um, I was noticing when I was setting up my settings. Here, one sec. Let me get into game. All right, and then we'll just go to... Uh, uh, not... Uh, hold on. Let's actually... Just hit escape and then go to settings. There we go. Hey, that's how we do it. All right. So uh, one of the things that I was noticing, and you'll notice I'm actually running all epic right now. Uh, all except for motion blur and light, um, oh, uh, and light bloom set off. And I've got myself set up as maximum frame rate 144. Matter of fact, if you have a higher end card and you're doing this, I would recommend that you set up the max uh, uh, frame rate because when you go into the title screen, you'll get up to like three, four hundred FPS, and that can cause damage to your GPU. So just know, make sure you set a maximum frame size, and you'll actually see up here in the top corner, this is my frame rate. Um, I always have this uh, posted. Most times you don't see it. Um, right now I'm actually sharing my monitor, not my game. So uh, yeah, that's why you're able to see it. I whenever I'm recording, it's very important to me that I have um, a surefire way of doing my FPS. And you can set this up. Uh, through Steam just by using the overlay. All right, and it's really, really easy. Go into overlay settings, uh, display FPS. I have mine in the top left. All right, um, so yeah, I have um, full Epic settings right now, and I'm actually running really decently. Um, they've been really patching up a lot of the stuff that allows you to do this. Now, one of the things I was noticing is when you go into RTX and you don't have frame generation on. Well, that's because, here, this is actually how it looks. I took a screenshot of it. Bam, there we go. Just so where you know exactly um, what it looks like before you turn it on. Enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling in Windows settings to enable frame generation. Now what this is, this basically uh, um, tells your uh, GPU to uh, schedule its, uh, to schedule what it's doing um, according to what you're doing, which allow it basically it, unlo it unlocks your GPU so where you can use the full potential of your GPU. And Windows has this off by default. So if you go and you enable that, then you will be able to get this. Yeah, and it works out really, really well. Now here, let me actually pop in the game just so you can see the performance. Now granted, um, I'm on a 4090, which means that I got a bigger bump. But if you're on a smaller system, if you're on a, um, oh, a system with a smaller graphics card, you're still going to get a bump and... Yeah, I was uh, all weekend. I was going through and I was helping people in my Discord uh, turn this on, and they were going, "Oh, we went from 30 FPS to 37." All right, yeah, okay, yeah, that's that's a little bit cooler. And so the some of the smaller cards they didn't get as big of a bump as me, um, but uh, incrementally from say like a 1060 that we were working with all the way up through a 4090, everybody got a little bit of a boost. It was it was actually really really good. All right, editing flinger here. I know I forgot to mention that, yes, this works even if you don't have the RTX cores turned on. So even if you're not running RTX, this still will give you a little bit of a boost. I just showed mine because that's what I had available in front of me. But yeah, you can turn this on even without having any RTX stuff enabled. All right, so let's get into game and I'll show you the FPS. Look at the very top left corner as you're going. Um... Yeah, that's 100 FPS. That's working. That's working really well. All right, so turning that on. Before this, I was actually uh, having a hard time. I was struggling at about, uh, on epic settings, between 50 to set 65, sometimes 70 FPS. I turn this on, I get 103, but this also, this is inside of the hut. We need to actually go see Lumen in action. Now we're at 76, 74, uh, 72, 80. Um... Yeah. 76. 
Yeah, so now it is very, very playable, and I'm no longer dipping below 60 FPS. And that was the important part for me, was just don't dip below 60 FPS. And like I said, let me just open up the settings right now. We're on Epic right now, so this is working. Yeah, this is the exact same settings I showed you just a second ago. So, yeah, we are working. This is uh, uh, Epic at 1440p. So it, it, it's, it's working, and it helps out quite a bit. So depending on uh, your graphics card... It, it'll give you a certain level boost, but um, yeah, all depends. Uh, it, there's really no harm in turning it on, and if you don't like uh, if you don't like it, then just turn it right back off. It's really simple. Yeah. All right. So another thing I wanted to get talking about. Let's get exited to game menu. All right, and let's go in. Let's talk about my settings that I've been using. Now there's a. Uh, um, if you're setting it up in single player, uh, you can just do it through the, um, the in-game UI, but also there's a couple different things, uh, different changes that happen from, um, Ark Survival Evolved to Ark Survival Ascended, and I'll go over actually those as well, and I'll give you guys a link down below, or not a link, I'll just give you, uh, the stuff so where I'm um, down in the uh, comments or not in the comments in the description of the video so you can just click and just drag it over it say if you're hosting a server and you just want to put it over there you can just put it over there easily all right uh, so here let's go to uh, game rules uh, these are the settings I'm using honestly right now until I can really fine-tune it um, I'm just using the exact same settings I was using in my old um, soloing the arc series for now, uh, and this is why I haven't done a best single player settings because I don't know the best single player settings. No one knows the best single player settings right now. Um, to actually claim that I would know, it, it's that's just that's clickbait. <laughs> All right, I'm not about that. So, um, yeah, uh, I just went. I uh, I did the best I could to transfer the stuff over to this. I'm gonna try them out before I do. Uh, um, a single player settings video, but you guys will see what I'm experimenting with right now in uh, single player as we're going through. Also, we've got some stuff like this on my servers as well. So, all right, uh, this right here, I haven't changed anything in here. Uh, structure, haven't changed anything in here. Uh, actually, I am going to disable structure placement charisma or co collision right now. Just because on my servers, I have it turned off because we were getting some uh, interesting clip uh, bits and some frustrated people that are like, I just can't place the ramp. Let me place the ramp. And so we put a target dummy underneath it. That made everything better until everybody walked by and go, why is there a target dummy there? And then we turned on, uh, we uh, disabled the collision. And then all of a sudden, everybody was like, oh, hey, we can put a ramp there. And let's, let's burn the effigy on the campfire. And we did that. All right. It was great. All right, so uh, now we've got uh, in here, I have my Taming Speed Multiplier set at four. Uh, on my servers, I actually have them set at two. It's just because it's in solo, It's I'm the only one doing it. All right, um, everything else, I haven't set anything too much, but also one thing I want to touch on, if you want to get level 150 dinos, all right, when you're first setting everything up, click hard on going through because that way if you click hard going into your world then there's less of stuff that you have to adjust um you'll still have to adjust a few things but there's less of things if you go if you if you just start off as hard i believe it starts you off at level 120 dinos if you start off at medium i think it's 90 um yeah so it's just just click hard and there's a lot of different so where you'll have less things to change um and also make sure once you've clicked hard, you go and you make sure maximum difficulty is on and difficulty level, if not maximum, is set to one. And then go in uh, to your game, do a dino wipe the same way you would in Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, yeah, Ark Survival Evolved. And then you should have level 150 dinos. It's it's pretty easy, but it's also I've been getting a lot of questions on that one. All right. Uh, for let's see the rest of these settings right here. Hold on. We need some more coffee. Oh, that's good. All right. Um, now we're going to go into the advanced. All right. So in the advanced settings, the only ones on the regular PVE one is I just turned on non-permanent non -permanent diseases. The exact same I did in Soling the Ark. Uh, because I like the diseases. I think they add a, a fun element of gameplay. But I just don't want them to last forever so they kill off all my dinos. All right. PVP. Um, honestly, in single player, this really doesn't matter. So I just avoid that one. All right. Now, world. Uh, the day cycle speed. I actually, uh, I, I make my days longer and I make my nights shorter. 
So I'm going with uh, 0 0.5 on the day cycle speed, 0 0.5 on the daytime speed, and 3 on the nighttime speed. So where uh, the daytime lasts pretty much twice as long, and the day lasts twice as long. Inside that day, the daytime lasts twice as long as it normally does, so it actually is technically 4. And then the nighttime only lasts 3, so technically it's 1.5 on the nighttime because my daytimes are twice as long. All right, so... Um, Oh, let's see. I don't have uh, any spoiling timers or anything like that set up. I do have my mating interval changed to 0 0.2. This is actually something I'm just testing on. Um, and on my servers right now, uh, because we've got so many people on them, we actually are running that at 1.0. We're running that at default just because until we can fine-tune the settings, we're, we don't want a whole bunch of baby spam because that'll really uh, uh, cause a bunch of lag on the servers. But we are dialing it in. All right, egg hatch speed, I have that at 30. Um, oh, cuddle interval, I have that at 0 0.3, which is, if you notice, you can't on this, you can't go... You can't type in 0 0.25. It'll default to 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. So I, you know, actually, maybe 0 0.2. All right, we're going to go... It's been 0 0.2 the whole time. That's what we're going with, 0 0.2. All right, um... And then also baby mature speed is 42 because I can't go 42.5 on single player. It just won't let me. All right. See, it just won't let you go to 42.5. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, and then also another reason, like I was saying earlier, right now we'd be getting like five, 600 FPS with our uh, um, GPU unlocked. So yeah, locking it in at 144. Make sure that GPU doesn't overheat. All right, uh, wild dino. Uh, I I haven't changed anything on here. No, tame dino. I haven't, haven't changed anything on here. Uh, player. Yeah, nothing on here. Uh, generic. Nope. Haven't changed anything on there. Uh, miscellaneous. Um, yeah, show floating damage text. I changed to on. And that's about it. Uh, there is one when it comes to game rules. I believe it is. That. Yeah. Use single player settings is hidden way down in here. Uh, so if you want to have a server that's more akin to the uh, public servers, and I've been getting this question a lot. Uh, make sure you disable use single player um, single player settings because exactly the same as in uh, Ark Survival Evolved as in Ark Survival Ascended, use single player settings activates a whole bunch of stuff that will just throw off a bunch of stuff. So I never ever ever use single player settings because it it just you you have to rework the math and my math I already like my math it's my math I like it I'm gonna keep it. I don't want to use single player settings. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Um, now that we've, uh, now that I've ranted about that, I'm going to have a second of coffee and then I'm going to bring you guys back and I'm going to show you guys, uh, the, uh, oh, the copy paste stuff that you can use for your servers. Uh, that's bam. Okay. Move that over there. Uh, now let's go with this. Oh no, not that one. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, of course, it's really bright in my face but yeah uh this right here um the old settings for arc survival uh evolved right here right there um these right here uh were just baby baby cuddle interval mature speed how to change these for setting up your server going into arc survival ascended um well these ones go into the game and i you actually have to add multiplier to the back end of it for the most part um and then uh, the gamer user settings uh, for taming speed needs to go in the uh, um, gamer user settings I and I. So uh, we took baby cutter in cuddle interval, which on our um, servers were as 0 0.035, and we took them and then we made it baby cuddle interval multiplier. So just added the multiplier onto the end uh, for most of these, and then these seem to be working effectively on our servers. So that's the big difference. I'll have these copy pasted uh, down below in the uh, um, description of the video so where you can just take them if you're setting up servers at your home. The big uh, 
you know, hosting company that shall not be named. All of them. Yes, exactly. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, you can use these on there wherever you want. And, yeah, all right. I think that's pretty much about what I wanted to get out there. It's the single-player settings. Also, uh, how to unlock your GPU. That one's very important. It'll help you out quite a bit. And then... Uh, the settings I'm using, and then also I will, just know I will be fine-tuning my settings as we go into, um, Ark Survival Ascended, because Ark Survival Evolved was out, was out for eight years, it's still out, still a great game, Ark Survival Ascended, I'm hoping has another eight years tacked onto it, I'm hoping. Probably wishful thinking, but I'm hoping, alright? Uh, so yeah, um... I think we covered it all. If you guys want me to cover any more things, if you have any other questions, let me know down below in the comments. I hope the video helps you out. Um, I hope it wasn't a little too weird for you. All right. This is, uh, this is just me talking in the morning, drinking my coffee. All right. Uh, answering people's questions. So, hey, you guys have a good day. Uh, if you like the video, like it, all that. You know, if you're new around here, you want to see more stuff, subscribe. And, hey, this is Flinger. I'm going to go finish my coffee. You guys have a good day.